so you've created your first pyro scene in C4D. You go ahead and click render and this is what you're hoping for. But there's some gotchas. So let me tell you really quickly how to set things up. We need to throw an object to set on fire on the scene. So here's a sphere. We're going to right click on that sphere. In the uh, drop down menu, we're going to find simulation tags and pyro. Okay. And as you can see, the pyro object has been added. Go ahead and click on export for all of those. Head on over to cache and click enabled. And then we want to cache scene. I've created a uh, folder on my desktop called Pyro. I'll go ahead and save that. It's going to take a minute to uh, cache that simulation. Okay, you want to make sure that you go into settings and change it to Redshift. And then in our uh, materials panel, which is right here, go ahead and click Create New Redshift Materials. And we're going to want Pyro Volume. Okay. And then it's important that you drag that over to the Pyro uh, item in the object list. We don't want to put it on our sphere, put it on the Pyro. All right, with everything set up, we should be able to hit Render and get the result we're looking for.